Hey everyone, this is Alan here from BMW Durham, back again with another video. We have another new arrival. It's the 2024 BMW M4 competition in Brooklyn Gray Metallic with the black merino leather inside. All right, so this is the 2024 BMW M4 competition with MX Drive in Brooklyn Gray Metallic. We've got black merino leather inside. Man, this color looks awesome in the showroom right now. I mean, all the cars look really dirty outside because the weather is getting nasty out there. So anytime we see a clean car, especially when it's shining like this, look how the lights are reflecting off the paint. That looks really awesome. Tail lights on. Yeah, really nice spec. And once we've got a full lap all the way around the car, let's take a closer look at all the details. All right, so we're coming down the hood here looking at this beautiful Brooklyn Gray metallic paint. We've got those sculpted arches coming down. Rondell right in the center. Now iconic of G chassis M car, vertical kidney grill, M4 competition, badging blacked out there. You can see there's a little front uh, 180 degree camera here as well. And we've got some sensors located down here. Now what's nice is we do have the laser light headlights. So they illuminate in this beautiful form factor. And I'm emphasizing this because we're not going to be seeing these with the 2025 LCI. So at first I thought they were gonna look just like the three series LCI headlights where they're upside down L's. Now they look like they're kind of like small little sevens, <laughs> now that I've seen some more pictures and whatnot. But man, that headlight looks really good. I'm confident that the new headlight will look good as well, but I don't think they're going to be lasers anymore. So come get your laser light headlights while they're still available. And when we come around to the side here, front looks awesome. We have, the 19 inch front, 20 inch rear, uh, double spoke 826 M wheels. These are black burnished. So we've got black on the inside, silver on the face. And of course we've got that massive blue M compound brake. 275 uh, width tires at the front here. Got some uh, Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2s. On the back there's 20 inch 285 width, so 285, 30, 20. And uh, man, I just love how concave these wheels are. Really nice. And then back to the front, we've got the M4 competition. They call this an air breather. There's no breathing with air here, but that's what it's called. We have the M wing mirror in black. We have M carbon fiber roof with the uh, grooves on it. New style antenna here as well. Black window surrounds with Hofmeister kink here. Uh, it doesn't come in anything other than black, but looks good. We've got this style door handle. And look how wide that rear quarter is. That looks awesome. And don't forget that the M4 front fender is different than the M3 because it actually has this body line, which is kind of like the three liter CSL to be honest. The M3 doesn't have that body line. We've got the black trunk lid spoiler. And once you take a view from the rear here, it's just so wide. And we've got the tail lights on, vertical reflectors on the side. Back is so wide. Quad exhaust, rear diffuser down here. Overall, the back end looks really awesome too. And I'm just gonna go ahead and press the micro switch underneath here. We do also have a tailgate button on the key, right? And we've got carpeted floor mats. On this side, we have a netted area. That's your tire inflator kit that also has the wheel lock key and tow hook. So wheel lock key is here, tow hook is here. And if you don't have an M car, there's also a panel down here that they lift up. Normally you'd find that stuff on, but since it can all fit in the tire and flitter kit bag, that's where it is. 
and put that back where it was, just like so. I'm happy to see that we've got our front plate bracket here and not on the front of the car. A little storage space here, and we do also have grocery bag hanger and some release levers to fold down the seats. And then up top, we've got a button to close, another one to close and lock. So let's close that up. Come around to the side here. Passenger side, we've got the fuel cap door. We're looking for 93 octane BMW M recommend Shell V power. If I open the front passenger door, so inside of here, got some nice stitching, ambient light. We've got some uh, galvanic controls area to store things in the door. Harman Kardon sound system, aluminum M4 door sill, full power seat with lumbar and side bolster. This is what those beautiful black Merino sport seats look like. We've got the illuminating M4 and don't forget the headrest height is also power on the sport seats. And we've got nice Alcantara pieces on here as well. If I lift this up and put the seat into the acute angle, it will slide forward, allowing us space to take a look into the rear here. We've got the lovely M tricolor seat belts. And in the back area here, Little storage pocket there. We have uh, headrests that are built right into the seats. We've got lower, ax, uh, lower anchors and tethers for child safety seats down here. Again, with the M seat belts in the back. Pass through through the center, there's no armrests in the back. Up top, some reading lights with the ambient light. On the back of the center console, some vents, rear climate controls, more vents underneath the front passenger seat. Don't forget that we've also got the coat hangers on the back of the B pillar as well. And then when we put the seat back into the recline position, it'll go back to its previous position. We've also got the glove box down here, which is illuminated. The lovely carbon fiber trim with the ambient light going across the dash. We have iDrive 8, the M specific iDrive 8. And down here, if I push that open, so we have a communication pad down there for digital key, USB type A, Cup holders, 12 volt plug, the lovely M shifter. Again, the tri colors are stitched on there. And if I open this part up, USB Type C charging port, it's illuminated in there as well. Let's go open the door on the other side next. All right, so if I open the front driver door here, so inside we've got Harman Kardon here, ambient light. Galvanic controls for window and side mirrors, memory buttons here, nice stitching all the way across the door, and tailgate release, storage pockets, aluminum M4 door sill, full power seat once again, and let's just take another beautiful shot. I love how the M4 is glowing on the headrest there. We've got the M steering wheel with the M tricolor stitching, carbon fiber on it as well, carbon fiber paddle shifters with the red grips on the back. And we have the head-up display here, and up top, because we've got no sunroof, we've got the black headliner, that looks really awesome. Some reading lights up top, visors, light turns on when that's open, and uh, if I go ahead and press the park assist view here. So we do have the 360 cam, this has automatic parking and uh, backup assistant that can remember 50 meters how you went forward and goes backwards. Shows how big the doors will open here and there's our backup camera view. There's also the 3D view if you want to see all the way around the car. You can also do this through the My BMW app. Also a view to help you get into the car wash. Please just go into touchless if you're going into any of them. Um, so that's awesome. And down here we've got Exterior lighting controls here, storage space, and down here we've got one, two for the hood release. Let's go take a look at what is under the hood. So when we come around to the front, you just lift this up, and there it is, the beautiful S58 3 liter inline six twin turbo, and we've got 503 horsepower, 479 foot-pounds of torque, I've heard of a 518 horsepower bump that's coming, so that's interesting, but uh, that's gonna be on the LCI. 
Love the uh, design of this engine cover. I've seen some cool carbon fiber ones as well. And I love that triangular strut brace. Positive battery terminal, negative battery terminal, washer fluid. Overall, really nice under here. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. All right, so before we conclude the video, just gonna do one more walk around all the way around. That's just with the headlights on. Let me just go ahead and press panic for one second. That's what the pathway light lighting looks like or basically what the low beams would look like. I think the overall profile of this car looks really awesome. It's got an extremely sporty design. And the M4 definitely is an absolute beast in terms of performance. I mean, obviously, M8 is the pinnacle, but if you can't afford the M8, the M4 is not bad at all. And both cars have way more horsepower than I think anybody would really utilize unless you're on the track. What a beast. All right, everyone, so that was my tour of this beautiful 2024 BMW M4 competition in Brooklyn Gray Metallic with the black merino leather inside with the sport seats. Uh, this is a really nice spec. Let me know in the comments below what you think. If you like the car, if you like the video, if you like me, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. We've got the pricing information in the description below. We've got some links in there on what the equipment that I use to make these videos in case you're interested in making your own videos. And uh, I'd like if you'd follow me on Instagram, it's Alan BMW Durham. Uh, you likely have more uh, frequent posts on there if you're interested in my content. Uh, otherwise, we'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching.